it's Kim from Memories in Time and today I am here to share with you a two page spread it's already finished it took probably mm, about six to seven hours in all total to put this two page spread together and that's why I am doing a talk about it after the fact this was a lot of fun it was full of technique and I just wanted to talk a little bit about it. Um, I know that as I post this out on social media, lots of people are going to have questions. And so before I get started, I just want to share this page in our March, April catalog was 100% the inspiration. I absolutely love this Daisy Meadows paper. I love this Daisy Meadows scrapbooking stamp and thin cut set. These florals are gorgeous. And that butterfly, oh my goodness. Everything about this collection just screams spring. And so this was the actual inspiration. That is the page that I created first. And I'll come in, zoom in, um, because I know there's going to be questions. And so I want to zoom in so you can see this. So what I did is, um, first I used Peacock as my base, and then um, I cut a half an inch off of the white daisy card stock on the top and the side, and then I adhered, this is a four inch piece, and I adhered that down, this is a zip strip, and then this is a three eighths, three eighths of an inch, I think is what this one is. I adhered all that down and then I used my sewing machine and attached. Then I came back in. What you see here is actually Abandoned Coral Distress Oxide Ink. And I just came in and very lightly, very lightly applied some Abandoned Coral Distress Oxide Ink. And then the sparkle that you see right there I'm sure you can see that sparkle hopefully you can see that sparkle right there is moon dust stickles glitter gel and I just applied that with a craft knife set that off to the side to let that dry I did use a heat gun just a little to try to set it a little but then I let it I just set it to the side to dry and you can see there's some waviness in my page but when that goes in a book it will all dry flat so then while all of that was drying I pulled out this beautiful Daisy Meadows scrapbooking stamp and thin cut collection and everything that's on here is die cut from this stamp set and this floral right here and this floral right here is cut actually from this uh, pattern paper. I actually just cut that from the pattern, pattern paper and then colored with my Spectrum Noir um, tri -blends. Um The butterfly is stamped in Peacock. And then I used Spectrum No Ore to color that. This leaf on both pages, um, what I'm speaking of right now applies to both pages. This little leaf set was actually stamped in fern, and then the edges I did rock and roll with New England Ivy. And this was stamped on glacier paper with peacock, and this was colored with Spectrum No War. Everything else was colored with Spectrum No War, and these little um, pearls. Or I don't know that you can actually see them. That's bisque, bisque liquid pearls. And so the same thing applied down here, the exact same um, techniques. I will say this little flower and this um, little leaf here was this teeny flower and these leaves. So that was how I did the first page. And then I did do journaling on half inch strips because I'm a fat writer and I wanted the word family to stand out and so I just used a little ink on my blending tool and just rub that in and then to create a coordinating page 
And then of course the title, sorry, back up. The title, Spring is in the Air, and this is my brother-in-law, my sister, my niece and my nephew from 2017. And these pictures were perfect for this paper. And then on the coordinating page, I wanted to be able to share more photos. And so I did three by four. And this is a PML card. And basically, I just wanted to flip the way that the florals were done. So the butterfly came down here. And then I had a cluster in this corner and a cluster in this corner. And um, the whole story behind this is whenever we try to take family photos, this is my baby sister, and she's the only one of us children that actually have children of her own. And so to get them together to take a serious photo really is difficult. It is um, an art form. And so I wanted to use this series of photos to document that. And so I, put, <laughs> I printed this cute picture of my niece um, trying to get my nephew to smile. And that was just a picture that I captured, and so I wanted to put that one in there. And this was immediately following, and he had made some wisecrack, obviously, and she was not impressed. And then this was one of their um, family pictures that did not go so well. My brother-in-law is, is a little annoyed. My nephew is done. He's, like, totally done with it. And my sister is like, can we just move on? <laughs> So, I had to document that. I had to document. Um, I absolutely love how this turned out. And then, to carry that um, highlighting with the, dis the, the Distress Oxide into my journaling, I used the word family again and the word together. And so, um, there you have it. That's how I created that. I did not use any stickles at all on the flowers. Just that bisque liquid pearls and then um i did the flowers exactly the same the floral clusters on both pages so hopefully you guys enjoyed a quick look at how this two pages came together and thank you so much for stopping by to visit my channel if you're new here i would love to have you as a, as a subscriber make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you are a follower thank you so much for coming back to say hello leave a comment down below and thanks guys happy scrapping